Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'm All wings! Welcome back to Ant Lives The Channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, you guys already know I got your back. New subscribers, you're going to come to find out that I got your back. This right here is my 224th build for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22. 22 current gen and 224 builds only prove that fact now i was going to say first ever because this was the first time i've seen the name but it is out there but like i said it's out there but mine's i believe is better now there's some nice ones out there i'm not going to front i don't do no capping the analyze the channel right but i believe mine's better and i'm going to explain why now I'm going to get into this build. This is a in skilled interior force, by the way. I'm sorry that I did not say that before, but this is a skilled interior force. I thought it was like, oh, wow, but it's not the first one. Now, what we're going to do right here for the skill breakdown is we're going to go to the Hall of Fame finishing, the little bit of the red, where the red is going to give you a lot of defensive badges on this build, and then we got a little bit of shooting, and then we're going to have a little bit of playmaker. But... There's something what I'm going to do with this build. And what we're going to do, we're going to go right here with this physical profile right here. We're going to go right here with this physical profile. This is really going to set this build off. And it's going to be a hard guard. I don't care. They're not going to be able to stop you. Now, we're going to bring his close shot to 89. We're going to bring his driving layup all the way to 80. Then we're going to bring his driving dunk all the way to 91. And then what we're going to do, we're going to just take his standing dunk. And we're going to bring it right here to, let me make sure of that. We're going to bring it to 87. All right. We're going to bring it to the stand duck to 87. Now, nothing on his mid-range, but we're going to bring his free throw to 67, okay? Now, we're going to bring his pass accuracy all the way up. We're going to bring his ball hand all the way up. We're going to bring his post control all the way up, okay? That's going to give him 14 playmaking badges. Now, we're going to bring his interior defense all the way to 80. We're going to bring his perimeter defense all the way to 65. We're going to bring his lateral quickness all the way to 69. Then we're going to bring his still just to 46. And then we're going to bring up his block. We're going to bring up his offensive rebound. Then we're going to bring up his defensive rebound. And you guys already know we got the 10. And this build has 62 total badges on it. So this is a bad man right here. Now we're gonna keep him a slight because we're gonna, with the, what the slight does with the body shape when you go up and wait, it doesn't make him look over big, overbearing. Also, it's gonna semi throw your opponent off, even though he's gonna say, "Well, damn, he's 275, but he's built small." So they're gonna think that you're more of a fast with not a lot of strength. They're gonna know you got some strength, but they're not gonna know you got this much strength. Trust me. Now we're gonna drop him to six seven. We're going, to, we're going to bring his weight all the way to 275. So you see right there, he's got a 95 strength. He's going to have, you see his vertical, and then you see his speed. And then you already know we got the 10. And the 10 is the slash and takeover. And it is the most powerful takeover on the game. This build is going to be over the speed boost as well. This is a bad man right here. He's a hard cover, and he's going to dominate. Now, Whenever you ignite the size to take over a 99 overall, you're going to get a 10 of your physicals. You're going to get a 10 of your finishing. You're going to get a 5 of your shooting. You're going to get a 10 of your ball handle. You're going to get a 5 of your pass accuracy, a 5 of your post control, and then you're going to get a 10 to your defense. And I mean, you're going to get a 5 to your uh, defense and rebounding as well as a 5 of your pass accuracy and your post control. I don't know if I overstated that. Now, all right, we're going to bring his wingspan just to 85.0. That's all we want for this build is at 85.0. We don't want to go any further. You go any further, you get a whole other name, and that's you don't want that. So we're going to go right here to 85.0 on this build. Okay. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 94. And when your knight decides to take over, that goes over the cap of 99. And that will be 104. Then you're going to have a driving layup of 
Ooh, $84.99 overall. And when United decides to take over, that is going to be a 94. Now you're going to have a driving dunk of 99 over uh, of 99 and 99 overall. And when United decides to take over, that goes well over the cap of 99 and will be 109. Now, you're going to have a standing dunk. Well, this build is going to have elite contact, elite alley-oops, all elite contact and all elite alley-oops and the pro dunk packages. So you already know it's official. But you're going to have a standing dunk of 92 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that goes over the cap of 99 as well with 102. Now, your free throw will be a 73. So you're accountable at the free throw line for your teammates. And when your knight decides to take over, that will be a 78. Now, on to your playmaking, because you're going to have a pass accuracy of 77 and 99 overall. And when United decides to take over, that is going to be a 82. Now, your ball handle will be a 76. So you're going to be able to get NBA players' signature dribble moves off of this build. So you're going to be able to handle that rock. Even at 72, you're going to get NBA players' signature dribble moves. So you're going to be able, like I said, you're going to be able to handle that ball. But when United decides to take over at 99 overall, and even before that, you're going to be able to speed boost with this build. But at 99 overall, that 76 turns to an 86. He's a dribble guy who can speed boost. Now, your post control will be a 77 as well. And when your knight decides to take over, that is going to be an 82. So he's going to be able to score in the post because you see, his, you see his strength. He is very strong. He's dominating inside the paint. He has that vertical. I don't know what's going, to what's going to stop him, actually. Now, you're going to have an interior defense and a perimeter defense of 81 and 99 overall. And you see the strength. He's going to be able to go out on the perimeter and lock up anything. He can guard, This build can guard one through five, guaranteed. Now, in 99 overall, your interior defense and your perimeter defense will both be 81. And when your knight decides to take over, they will be 86. Now, you're going to have a lateral quickness of 87. So he's fast laterally as well. So you're going to be able to get that chase down block off of this build, guaranteed. And when your knight decides to take over, that 87 will turn into a 92. Now, you're going to have a steal of 55 and 99 overall. And when your knight decides to take over, that's going to be a 61. So you're going to be able to get steals here and there too with this build. Now, you're going to have a block of 75 and when United decides to take over 99 overall that's going to be an 80 you're going to have a defense offensive rebound of um 78 and 99 overall and when United decides to take over that's going to be an 83 and then you're going to have a, a defensive rebound of 81 and 99 overall and when United decides to take over that's going to be an 86. This is a triple-double threat guaranteed. He's going to get the triple-double for you. His power, his vertical, his speed alone. This is pound for pound the best skilled interior force on the game. Now, on to the juice part, and that is the physicals because you're going to get the 18-point jump here. And we all know there's four ways to get the fours. That is the Gatorade facility where you get it for a week, level 40, NBA championship, and as we all know, getting to 99 overall will give us a four. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a speed of 83. You're going to have an acceleration of 81. And then you're going to have a vertical of 95. And then you're going to have a strength that goes well beyond the cap of 99 with 103. Even though it does not show, they give you the points. Because you, if you recognize and you, when you're playing the game and you get hot, you'll see a 99 and a green arrow pointing up. That's over the cap. Of what that is now whew, this man is bad now when you and Knight decides to take over 99 overall that speed is a 93 your acceleration will be a 91 your vertical goes over the cap of uh, 99 and will be 105 and then your strength goes over the, well, it's already over the cap so you it's already over the cap so your strength that is already over the cap and it will be at 103 will be 113 this is a powerful, powerful, powerful build. It's dunking on anything in the paint. It's going to dunk on a 7, 3, 290 guy, 280 guy. It does not matter what is ever in this build's way. It's, 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 a, it's in the ball game. And this is an ultimate stat stuffing build. See, a stat stuffer, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, it's a stat stuffer. It's a guy who can score, get assist. Get rebounds, get steals, get blocks. This is a stat stuffer right here. So a stat stuffer, and, and, and I'm going to give you all a new term for demigod because this is a demigod build. Even though it cannot shoot the three ball and it can't shoot the mid-range, it can't, 
it does everything else. It's going to compete. It's going to score. You cannot stop this build. It's unstoppable. And there we have it. We got the slash to take over, of course. And there you have it. Skilled interior force. Only at Ant Lodge Channel will you find this type of skilled interior force. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel game, you know I got your back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test this build. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to show you why I place the badges if I was to use this build. Yeah, this board right here is not playing. So, yeah, y'all are going to love this build right here. It's unguardable, basically. With his strength, his vertical, his speed, slash the takeover. Basically, it's unguardable. All right, we got 24. Now, we're going to go fast, fast twitch, of course. Unstrippable, of course. We're going to go rise up. We're going to go with po posterizer, limitless takeoff. And then we got one more. I could go grace under pressure, but I wouldn't go grace under pressure. i go right here. And then, do I need rise up? Mm, yeah, I'm going to take posterizer off. And I'm going to go with slithery finisher. And we really don't need rise up because he's going to get, well, no. Well, no. We'll go grace under pressure. This right here, because he's a, this is a skilled interior force. So he's going to slash to the hole. You're going to be able to take people off the dribble. Go up in the air dunk on them your fast twitch is going to work and then when you take them off the dribble your slithery finisher is going to show up for you as well it's a bad man right here i like him a lot now we got one and i'll just put it on i put it on clutch shooter and that's just for clutch moments of the game when you're at the free throw line when you get fouled now if you don't want that you can always go to strip you off the ball all right because of the strength of the build and because of the fact this is a fast break build as well so when you're running the, running, the, running the break and somebody tries to stand in front of you or try to block, you know how they do it, try to do anything to slow you down on this game, you're going to slide right up off them because you have a 99 strength. But like I said, you can go either or right here. Clutch shooter is, is clutch, but you do have a decent uh, free throw. So I'm going to go with slippery off the ball. Now I got 14 playmaking badges. Of course, unpluckable. Triple Threat Juke. If you guys do not know what Triple Threat Juke is, and I'm only, you only need one on Triple Threat Juke, right? With the Triple Threat Juke, is this, the one is up, the three is under, and the two is over. And you can reverse it. The two is over, three under, and one up. One, three, two, two, three, one. All right? So basically, whenever you take your opponent out of the Triple Threat, being the fact that this build is so powerful, you're going to get an and one, you're going to dunk on them, or you're going to be fouled. One is two, or you're going to score. So that's the four things that's going to happen once you use that triple threat. Uh, they can't stop you out of that triple threat. As soon as you hit them with the, whatever side you decide to go on, like I said, the up, under, over, or the un, over, under, up, whatever side you decide, left or right, you're going to put them on the opposite side of your shoulder. And then once you go up in the hole, you're going to create that shoulder contact, and that shoulder is going to go into your um, defender's chest, and you're scoring on them. Now, he does have a mean ball handle, so we're going to go here. We're going to go here to make him very much faster. Matter of fact, let's see. Let's see what we do. We're going to go glue hands. You only need silver glue hands. I mean, bronze glue hands on this. And then let me make sure. We'll go bullet passer. And then we're going to go downhill. And this right here, especially when I told you about the triple threat juke, and you bring that involved and you involve that right there, that's ball game. It's over with. And that's really going to ignite his ball handle for you. Man, oh man, this is boy right here. I don't know who's going to stop you with this. And we got 23 uh, badges on the defense, so we're going to get seven gold badges and then one silver badge. Now, we're going to throw it off the glass for sure. That's a 90, that's a 103 Intimidator badge right there that's gold. So basically, these gold badges are Hall of Fame because of the strength of the build. Now, we're going to go Rim Protector. We're going to Rebound Chaser because we're going to get that triple double out of this build for sure. Let's see where we're going to go. Uh, hmm. We don't really need box out because you're going to be so powerful. Now, I will tell you this because you're short, so guys are going to think they're going to be able to post you up and back you down. Wrong. That's not going to happen. Now, we're going to go with Worm. And this works in the low, in the low post. All right? So, trust me. That's going to show up. 
And then we're gonna go right here with post lockdown, right? Let's see. Do we go? We go clamps here, and then we're gonna we're gonna go brick wall here. Nobody's gonna be able to move you out of that paint. Nobody. I don't care. They're not gonna be able to move you out of paint, and you're gonna move people around in that paint because you got a hundred and uh, three strength on that worm badge. This build is the ultimate build. It is the best interior skill force on the game, guaranteed. Just because of his physicals alone, make it the best. Garant is the best. This build doesn't need to shoot a jump shot. This build is going to dominate inside the paint with Will. All right? And there you have it. Only at Ant Lives the channel. Now do you have it, the best interior skill force power forward on the game. This boy is powerful. He's jumping out of the gym. And nothing is going to stop it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, you know I got your back. This right here is 224 builds. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. And 224 builds only prove that fact. Without anything further being said, I am.